hello and happy Friday. Whoa. <laughs> Happy Friday to you. Things are quite uh, excited and uh, a little bit violent around here at the House of Valentina, but that's because I have got such a fun video planned for today that I am trying to keep, actually keep my feet on the floor because I literally want to jump for joy. I am so excited to share this video with you. So today we're going to be talking about some of the organizational tips that I use when I'm organizing my own closet and when I'm working with my clients, especially for designing a new closet and all those different things. There's so much that we talk about. And then we're also gonna have a really fun clothing haul. I know, I've never done one of these on my channel before, but I thought it'd be really fun as I share about some of my tips and tricks that I'm using to get my closet ready, literally like decor items, how I'm getting it ready, how to make it look good. I thought it'd be really fun to share with you this incredible fashion haul that I have from Mango. And if we have some time, I'll even show you the shoes that I've ordered. These are all super budget friendly clothing items that I think you would absolutely love as you're getting your closet ready for spring. And so I thought it'd be really fun to share with you just some of the items that I'm bringing in and a little bit of the thought process about how I'm organizing the closet and how the items themselves do actually matter. And just a little bit of how I go through that. So subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you're like, yeah, Valentina, bring it. <laughs> I absolutely love to spend time on my closet and on the clothing and the whole shebang. And so in the next couple weeks, I'm going to be sharing with you the final closet design, but I've always known where that design was going to go. So even if you don't have the, the money right now to go and actually build out the structure of your closet. I think having a plan just in general of how many shoes do you think you're going to have? How many pieces of clothing do you think you'll be storing? All that kind of stuff. Have a plan. Also, I think planning out the wardrobe itself and thinking through, I do this so much and I just love it. I love it. I love it. I have, I think I've actually pinned more to my Pinterest account about fashion than I have about home. Like I'm, that crazy about clothing. I, for me, you know, I can't change my face, <laughs> but I can dictate what I wear on my body and I can't even change my body either. I mean, I can work out and, you know, do some stuff, but generally we have what we have. We are who we are, but we can change how we look and how we feel with our clothing. So I love to create a clothing plan on my Pinterest account as well. It's such a big help to me. And I just absolutely love to think about the pieces that I'm really drawn to and what's missing in my wardrobe. Now, of course, it's springtime. So what are we all doing? We're doing some spring cleaning and we're cleaning out our closets. So one of the things that I always do is I always sort. I think now's a good time to really just look through your wardrobe and analyze the heck out of it and decide what, is, what do I really love in this? What's really working for me? And I pull a lot of those pieces out. That's how I end up with a small little capsule like this. And then if I've discovered I'm in a little bit of trouble, when it's time for me to go to work and I've got to go out of the house, I'm really struggling to get dressed. I'm kind of wearing the same two outfits. I need to expand this thing just a little bit. So those are the kinds of things that I do as I'm sorting. And I think it's, I think it's hugely helpful and it's kind of therapeutic. I think it's fun probably makes me a little weird, but I really enjoy it. It's a little bit like shopping in your own home and in your own wardrobe. And then you just kind of go through and pick and choose and yeah, all that good stuff. One of my favorite things to do is to switch up the hangers. From a design perspective, it's pretty big. I, I cannot, like, I, I just cannot have mismatched hangers in the closet. It's one of those things that even when we were first married and we, literally had almost no money. I mean, just barely, barely making it. I needed my hangers. I have always been like this. <laughs> like literally, I got married when I was 19. I know, I was crazy. But even at that age, I was like, my hangers have to match. It's just a thing. I think it just makes everything look prettier. It makes your clothing look better. It makes your life easier. I also sort by color, but you know, you don't have to do that. I think it makes life easier as far as getting dressed. So I, I think 
when you go through switch up your hangers I have these hangers which are my absolute favorite because they are the wooden ones now these are not the best if you have a really tight closet or you have a lot of things and you can't get a lot in there you can also do the space saver ones I have those in my son and daughter's room because they have really small closets and really small rooms so we're really trying to maximize their space so I use the space saving ones in there and they really do take up literally half the space another thing that I think you should definitely consider is upping your shoe game which is why I've got this big haul <laughs> of shoes that I'm gonna be sharing with you because when it comes to how your closet looks and the experience of getting dressed in the morning, and I think it's important to kind of up your shoe game because it does matter what you look at. It, it is important not only how they look you know, on you, but also I think it's important how they look in your closet. And I really like to really line them all up in the closet by color and make them feel special and give myself this sort of boutique feeling. This is why I feel like it's something that needs to be on this channel because you cannot leave this much of this much space of your home just to be a wreck. It, it really is important. The way that you live in your home, the way that you sleep, the way that you bathe, the way that you get ready, the way that you dress, this is for us it's literally a third of the entire house and it's definitely at least a third of our life maybe more <laughs> when you calculate how much time we spend sleeping but if you think about how much time you spend in these these private areas of your home i think it's really important to invest back in yourself and to treat yourself to shoes that are really well laid out it's organized it's sorted you feel like you can find things the hangers are pretty and then of course i think that the clothes are a huge part of this the way that you experience these spaces does have a lot to do with the kind of clothing that you actually have so i know that a lot of you might have a job where you don't get dressed for it the way that i do you might be at home more and or you might live in scrubs or you might have a uniform of some type and so a lot of that will take over your wardrobe there's nothing wrong with having a wardrobe that's geared towards your life you don't have to have all fancy dresses if you don't ever wear fancy dresses i think having a wardrobe that really reflects your personal style is actually really important and you may want to separate some of like your your day job and then your weekend wear depending on what kind of job you have that way you really give yourself that opportunity to have that space that you go to when it's the weekend and now i've got maybe this casual outfit that i want to wear i've got some dinner out outfits and then maybe the workout gear and some of the other stuff that you maybe don't want to look at all the time might be in a different section and i these are the kinds of things that we process through when we're helping our clients with their closet designs. It's what I've been working on on my own and really trying to decide how I want it to look because the clothes that you do put into your wardrobe really do matter. And that's why I thought it'd be really fun to share with you what I've got here because, well, it's fun. And I think it can show you where my mind is moving for the spring and the summer and how I've kind of shifted gears. And yeah, so, I, I don't even know how to do this. <laughs> I don't even know how to, I'm like, I don't know how to do a fashion show. What do you do? Do you just like twirl? <laughs> I don't know. But I did just order these clothes and I did just order some shoes. So let's chat about what I've got in my wardrobe and why I have these things. Cause I, I think this, I, well, I hope, I hope you will find it to be really helpful and a useful tool for you as you're thinking through your own wardrobe. So first of all, I'm already wearing part of my haul that I got. I got these uh, trousers. These are straight leg trousers from Mango. I've really been enjoying the, the black trousers. I've got them paired right now with these snakeskin shoes that I ordered from Sam Edelman. I'll pair this with um, just a little tank top. This is from Mango as well. So I've also got a couple blazers and I just really love them because they are that more oversized look. Wear things that make you feel good and that will encourage you to do things that will continue to make you feel good. So, all right, let me show you some more. Your eyes do not deceive you. I have definitely switched to another pair of trousers and at the moment I don't have any shoes on, but I cannot believe that these trousers are from Mango. I mean, 
Every piece that I have here has blown my mind. I've never in my life ordered this big of a haul and every single thing fit so perfectly and work. So yeah, it's kind of caused a little problem because I'm like, what am I gonna send back? And I'm like, ugh, maybe nothing, I don't know. It's that good, but these little trousers with the little pleat on them and the high waist, I think that they are so slenderizing and they fit so, they literally feel like they must be made by Celine or one of the highest designers. I, I cannot express to you the quality of these trousers. They are completely amazing. I got these little shoes from, um, these are from Sam Edelman and they have this gorgeous little heel and you can see how I'm drawn to sculptural things for the home. I'm also drawn towards sculptural shoes and something that's maybe just a little bit edgy and yet really sophisticated as well. I, I've got these absolutely gorgeous trenches. I cannot believe Again, that this is from Mango. I cannot believe it. It's amazing. You can take this and just literally tie it nice and tight. I tend to do that little half tie. I don't know. I just love the way you like nip it in at the waist and I just love a beautiful trench. I am just beyond, beyond excited about this beautiful coat. Look at the buttons on the bottom of that. Isn't that just the most amazing little detail? I can't believe it. Their linen blazer is gorgeous and you could definitely do it buttoned like this. And I love that double breasted style. It's so classic and kind of nautical feeling to me, but it also looks really cool. Like if you've got your hands, you know, tucked in your pockets, but then you can also undo it as well. And it's just got that oversized kind of look to it that I just love. And I just think it's just really, really beautiful. Now I've got on the linen trousers and I love these so much. They are so comfy. They have an elastic waistband but they definitely feel nice and nipped in. I haven't been putting the belt on kind of more to save time than anything else, but I do have a belt that I bought from J. Crew. So I've been using this little belt from J. Crew, which you could 100% add in as well, but I've got these little, the snakeskin shoes. I really love to have something that's light like this, and I think it looks amazing with the little blazer and with the little shoes. Look at this trench as well. I love all the little detail on the sleeve. I love the fabric that's here. Again, I haven't taken any tags off because I'm hoping you guys are gonna tell me down in the comments if I should keep everything or if there's something I should send back. But this one doesn't have that detail. It's a little bit lighter of a coat and I have the little string I need to take off um, if I keep it from that bottom piece, but it does have the little belt on it as well, so, and the little flap. I love that little flap. I love the little details in a coat. It's really like a room. As you can see, I love to have these sort of classic items that mix and match all with each other because I really do design my wardrobe like I design my, uh, you know, like my house. So for this one, I probably would just take this and even though it is a belt, knowing me, I'd probably just tie it because yeah, I think that's a little bit more casual to just simply tie it in a knot like that. And it's super comfy, it's beautiful. The fabric is breathtaking on this. And just like that, I've got a nice little spring outfit that I can just run to jobs, I can run out to do errands, and it feels, it feels like I'm wearing my pajamas right now, okay? <laughs> it feels like I'm wearing jammies. So as you can see, this is very, very long on me. And if you're really tall, you're gonna love this top. And I think that even if you're short, you're gonna love it too, because I think that you could definitely, this style is what is really coming in. And especially when summer hits, I think it's nice to have a few things that you can just kind of untuck. And I would absolutely, take this to the beach with me, roll the sleeves up more, and even wear it just over a bathing suit. I just think it's it's not silk, even though it does feel like silk, but it's definitely one of those tops that's super versatile. I think you could also definitely do it more tucked in, but like casually. Do you see what I mean? Where you can just sort of like, kind of throw it on and, 
it's a little bit tucked and it's kind of not tucked. It's like, I'm just chilling. This is definitely more like weekend wear and I am still wearing that with the snakeskin shoes, but what else? I also, I also bought these little brown beauties that are a kitten heel and oh my gosh, what? I know. So let me put these on and I'll show you everything put together. I think they look great with just a little bit of a heel. I thought they looked great with the flats and I definitely think you could go with a higher heel with this as well. And the outfit overall, I just, I just think it's like really, really fun, don't you? It's just casual and yet put together, which is kind of what I was trying to figure out for myself. Okay, I've popped on this other top and I absolutely adore it. It is so soft, but it's not made of silk and that's what I really need. Is sometimes, especially if you're going out to a nice dinner, it's really great how you could easily wear a trouser like this you could pair this top with the dressier pants or with the uh, black leather or faux leather. And I just think it's so great to have these kinds of items that just really are just, they're just essentials. And you're just gonna be able to build on this. And this is the kind of top that you can own for absolutely years. And then of course, you can take any, any of the little blazers and any of the jackets. I've got this one other jacket. Oh my gosh, let me show this to you. I can't even believe, like, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. Is this really from Mango? Uh, this is unbelievable. This looks so much like the Totem one that I ordered and I just absolutely loved, but it just didn't fit me right. And this one is in this beautiful brown and this is all lined. And apparently this little top piece is also removable. If you want to take that off, you can see here where it's also removable and it's one of the prettiest things I think I've ever seen in my life. Look at the back of this. Look at the back. What? Yeah, it's happening. It's happening. Is that not just the most beautiful thing that you've ever seen in your entire life? So yeah, let me pop this on. Let's decide if it looks good with what I've got on. So I think for this one, if I do decide to keep this, that I am going to need to have it shortened just a little bit. It's almost a little too long for me. Again, I'm really, really petite. So for most of you, it's gonna be great. But I love to just kind of pull it up like that and tuck it in and... <sighs> Can you get over this? I can't believe that this is from Mango. I mean, look at the detail and the quality on that. Isn't it just the most amazing thing you've ever seen? I'm just dying over it. <sighs> yeah, I just, I'm, I'm totally blown away. But yeah, I think um, I might need to shorten it, don't you think, just a little bit? I think that would be good. What on earth, you cannot be serious. Uh, not just the top piece, but the sleeves and everything came off of this. It's literally like a long vest type of little piece. I mean, oh! Oh my gosh, look at how cool this is. Definitely those sort of sleeveless long jackets are like all the girls in Europe are wearing them right now. And there it is. It's so cool. You could definitely go sleeveless if it gets to where it's a lot warmer and then tie. I'm looking at myself in the mirror over here so I can make sure, you know, I look presentable for you guys, but oh my gosh, how cool is that? What an incredible piece from Mango, from Mango. I can't believe it. Okay, all right, now I really am gonna change into something else. I was sitting here debating what shoes should I wear with this outfit because I put the little black belt on and I love the fact that it has this little black button down here and I wanted to have a little bit of black represented. So I got these little flats from Sam Edelman in my order and they look so much like the YSL ones that I wanted to buy for the season. So I think I'm gonna save myself some money and keep these because they're gorgeous. The only issue is that the pants would have to be shortened if I was gonna have these on right now. And then I could also definitely do some creams with this and keep the whole outfit super, super light. I think that these would work as well. And look at that heel. But because these pants are so long, what if we try them with these? <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, yeah, they're quilted! <laughs> yeah, she really can change your life and it really can bring you this much joy. So I definitely think you could wear these with the black heel as well. Maybe I'll save these for another outfit. Ooh, maybe I'll save these for an outfit. Let me put the black back on. These definitely look amazing with the black. I love the black. I could actually not shorten them if I decided to do a higher heel with them. So I think that's really interesting. And if you're taller, then you would definitely wear these with the flat. I feel like I'm living in a Moroccan daydream. It just really reminds me of being in Morocco. I love how the sleeve is just over off the shoulder and I love the color. It's so comfortable and I think it looks amazing with the black heels. I think I could definitely get away with the trench with this, don't you think? And oh, and yeah, it has pockets. So I definitely think it's got all the all the little ingredients that I'm kind of looking for for the perfect dress. And my husband just freaked because I don't wear a lot of dresses and he's like, oh my gosh, this dress looks amazing. Okay, here we go. The dress of my husband's dreams. He, like, I don't know, he just went completely and utterly nuts over this dress. I think part of it is the color is absolute perfection. It is everything that I, I'm looking at my curtains and I'm realizing it is the exact shade of my curtains. That's probably why I just love it. And I think it's so fun when you're designing for your home to also bring those colors into your wardrobe. So then when you put them in your closet, it's all connected. It's all absolutely connected. So there you go. My amazing puff sleeve little dream. It's just exquisite and I just love it. And I I put it with the little white heels. I think for me, I think I would have to have it shortened. I think I would like to have it just a little shorter for me. Um, but I think that otherwise I love, I just love it. I think it's just amazing. So you could definitely pair this also with the little white flat. And I did have one other pair. Oh my gosh, I have to show these to you. If you, you are a flat shoe person. <sighs> Look at these. Look at these. Yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? Every single pair of the Sam Edelman shoes just fit like just so perfectly. I've been wearing Sam Edelman shoes for about five years. I bought a pair like soon after we got back and I've been wearing them ever since and they just really hold up. They really are a great quality shoe for a really, really reasonable price. So you could definitely add in a flat with this dress, but I do really love it with the, uh, with the, um, with the heel. So, okay, well, I've never done a video like this before. I hope that you will tell me down in the comment section that you love it. Maybe that I should just start a, an entire channel about clothing or let me know because I, I really love being able to create the content that you guys love and I love being a part of your lives and a part of what's going on in your homes. And so for me, these things are super connected, but I would love to hear from you. If you feel like these aren't connected for you and you'd rather the fashion lie somewhere else or if we got really excited about your closet again and you love the tips and tricks, let me know down in the comments, but also, Give the video a thumbs up either way, I hope, and subscribe. So yeah, I'm gonna grab my coffee. I've gotta run some errands and I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.